Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, hi. Um, as Paul said, my name is Mike Osborne. I feel it's important to stress that right at the top, because I know at least one or two, you're looking at me thinking, fuck me. Sue Perkins has gone downhill since the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> It's all right, buddy. I know what I look like. I know what I look like. I've seen my face before. I look more like Wolverine got a job at the Copacabana. I mean, what the fuck? It's even me. It's even my fucking shirt. Um, it's good to be here tonight. It's good to be here. I fucking love doing comedy, man. Love doing comedy. Because uh, I, don't, I don't like real work. Tonight, you people do it. I had a real job once, right? And um, I came in after the weekend. This woman I work with, she's like, you know what, Mike? If one lottery still come into work because I love it I love the people fuck off Janice one five pound on a scratch card never went back fuck them Fuck them. It's good doing comedy though, man. It's good doing comedy because you get to do some things that um, you don't ordinarily, ordinarily get to do, like travel. I think travel's really important, right? Because before you've been to a place, you've got quite a flat two-dimensional view in your mind and then you go there, it becomes more realized. You might, re you might learn some things you didn't know about the place before. Happened to me recently. Went to Blackpool. <laughs> I knew two things about Blackpool before I went. I knew one, they've got the illuminations. I knew two, it's a bit shit, innit? <laughs> I went to Blackpool, you guys. And I was wrong. They do not always have the illuminations. <laughs> no, they turn that shit off during the day. <sighs> For anyone who hasn't been, Blackpool looks like the sort of place where they're just gonna have one last big hurrah and then board everything up and just fuck off forever. <laughs> you get the chance, go, it's lovely. <laughs> oh, that's good though. It's good. Um, I like arguing. Big fan of arguing because I'm quite good at it, really. I mean, <laughs> it's happened happening all night. <laughs> Benny, I think a pipe's gone, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to the gig. Um, no, I fucking love arguing, right? Because I'm quite good at it. Quite good at it. If anything, I'm a fan of winning. Fan of winning. To the point where I'm seriously considering just cutting both my hands off. That way I can walk into a palm readers and be like, you're moved, dickhead. <laughs> But I, 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 I met a person that I couldn't use my usual tools of logic and reason on, right, in my arguing. You might know them as conspiracy theorists. I know them as mad, crazy bastards. Um, I was speaking to a guy. I don't know if you've, any of you have met a person like this. I was speaking to a guy who honestly believed that the earth was flat. That one there, yeah. Yeah, they fucking exist, don't they? It's fucking weird. It's current year, for fuck's sake. Right, so I'm using my usual tools of logic and reason. I'm, I'm talking to him about science. I'm talking to this guy about the conservation of angular momentum. That means objects over a certain size in a vacuum will become spherical. It's also the exact same reason as to why when you recoil the cord on the vacuum cleaner, the plug twats you on the shit on the way past. It's fucking science. You know, it's... Help. <laughs> oh my god. It wasn't you, was it? Right, I'm so. <laughs> it's alright, love. It's a, it's a beautiful laugh. I love it. You can come to all my fucking gigs. Right, so I'm, I'm talking to this guy about science. I mean, I showed him a picture of the Earth from space, and it's pretty fucking round, right? And he was just like, nah, fam. Um, <laughs> His entire counter-argument was this.
I was like, what the fuck is that? He said, you try that on an exercise ball, see how fucking far you get. <laughs> He's right, I nearly killed myself. Um, <laughs> but, but, I figured out a way to beat them. All right? All you have to do, if you ever find yourself in this situation, just out crazy them. Just go one step above them. That's exactly what I did, right? After we'd got off the topic of the Earth being flat, he started talking about how we'd never landed on the moon in 1969. So you know what I did? I just locked eyes with him. I laughed in his face and I said, you think there's a moon? <laughs> Don't you know the Jews stole it? <laughs> Taxi drivers are dickheads anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like to help out as well. I like to help out. I'm a giving person. I'm a giving person. Doesn't always work out, right? I was walking through town earlier today. This guy stopped me in the street. He's a bit of a rough looking guy. He stopped me and said to me, big issue, please. I felt fucking awful, man, because I did not have a copy to give him. <laughs> Got no idea where you get the big issue from. I've never seen it on sale anywhere. Um, I assume he was collecting and he had loads on him. So I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll do what I can. I offered him my copy of Ideal Home magazine. <laughs> Clearly not a fan, because he punched me in the throat and stole my wallet. Actually, it reminds me of a time I was doing a, kig, a gig in, uh, in Liverpool, right? And I went to get some food beforehand. I went to um, the KFC just up by Smoky Bowes, which is an awful bar, I never go there. Um, and I went, I went to KFC, I went to get some food, sat down, and like literally two seconds later, guy walked up to my table, he's like, excuse me, meat. I don't know where he's from either. <laughs> Not a clue. So, excuse me, mate. So, I wondered if you can help me out. I'm sleeping on the streets and I'm homeless. Now, I, for one, I'm glad that he qualified that because if you just said I'm sleeping on the streets, like, go home, dickhead. That can't be comfortable. <laughs> Think about it. He's like, I'm sleeping on the streets and I'm homeless. And um, first off, as you can see, I'm not a smackhead. I love that. I think all sales pitches should start that way. So, you know, you get a call at the house. It's like, good afternoon. Is that Mrs. Brown? Mrs. Brown, it's Derek from Eon. And first off, I'm not a smackhead. <laughs> it's just good to know who you're dealing with. But um, it's like, I'm sleeping on the streets. I'm homeless. As you can see, I'm not a smackhead. I was just wondering if you can put some, put some change in my hand. Just trying to get some chips. I said, look, mate, I'm really sorry. I've just spent that. Well, I didn't do that. You would have heard me change. <laughs> I love when people laugh at that as well, because all of you motherfuckers have done it as well. It's just like, you got any change? Like, no, no, I haven't got any. This is where I keep it. <laughs> sorry. I said, look, mate, I'm really sorry. I've just spent all the money I have on this food, but you are more than welcome to take that seat opposite. And we're going to share this food. It's just two people. And I'll never forget what he said. So he looked me in the eyes, and he smiled. And he said, fuck off, now, bed. <laughs> and then he punched me in the throat and stole my wallet. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic. I've been Mike Osborne. Good night. <laughs>